Hello my angels, welcome back, hope you've all had a really good week. Um, so this week what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at your situations as a whole. Um, as always it will work on the strongest mutual energy between you all. But look at your situations as a whole and we're going to do a bit of mediumship and get spirit to um, give, us, give, give you a lot the advice and guidance you need for your individual situations but as a majority as your mutual energy so as always if anything doesn't resonate just remember it for a later data later date <laughs> okay so this is deck number one and this is deck number two so i want you to think about you i want you to think about your person and we need to go from where your heart energy is pulling you so um if you've just got something that's come into your head straight away just really double check that it's the same energy that your heart energy is pulling you towards. This deck's just got another really heavy. So number one, you and your person and your situation. And number two, you and your person and your situation. Okay? And we're going to see what spirits say. Okay. So can you get me into deck number one energy, please? So the first thing we've got um, is a song coming through. This is a good old Britney Spears one. Uh, sometimes I run, sometimes I hide. Sometimes I'm scared of you. But all I really want is you time. Okay, think about your person. So that song will be a reflection of your situation with you and your person. It will be the mutual energy between you between you both. So there looks to be straight away this element of mirroring going on between you and your person. And let's get the mutual energy on the situations of everyone. Let's pull out the mutual energy on that. All thoughts, feelings, energies, emotions, thought process, situations, challenges, all of that energy, please. And let's go with what these people, what advice do the people watching need? Okay, my guide is just saying to pull five cards. One. What advice do they need to? What advice do the people watching need? Three. Mm, lovely. Four. Let's get an overall one for the top for the number five. Okay. So we feel you guys are feeling pretty low at this moment in time. You're feeling pretty down. There seems to be quite a lot of heartbreak. Uh, some elements perhaps with some of you of betrayal. Um, some elements of trying not to get your hopes up with the situation. Feeling very, you lot watching are feeling quite lost, quite hurt unsure how to move anything forward and you're just kind of just you're trying there's an element almost of a little bit of don't take this the wrong way guys but a little bit of desperation as such because you really do feel at your end at the end of your tether with it all um your situation hasn't gone how you've wanted to wanted it to go there's been a choice made there's been a decision made on your situation and you felt like you've suddenly been left at the wayside abandoned alone betrayed lost now spirit is saying the first thing that we need to talk about here is that this is an element of karmic energy so this doesn't mean that you were in a karmic relationship or a karmic whatever your relationship is going on it doesn't mean that but what it does mean is that if you guys um are experiencing things that have been a little bit more difficult and a little bit more challenging there has been an element of past life karma happening here so you could be twin flames but you can still have a karmic energy especially those of you that are more involved in third party situations as well that karmic energy is going to be very very strong rooted um best way to kind of think about past lives and this is a little bit morbid um but you know in one life you would be the murderer and in the next life you would be the victim so you can experience it from both points of view so for example if you're person has just run off into the sunset and you haven't heard from them for I don't know a few months or years or whatever um, what will be happening there is this will have happened in a past life so an example could be um, that you two were together you were the male or you went off to war and you ran off with someone else or you never came back because the situation happened where you passed away and um, so this is the element of karmic energy that's kind of coming through now what you can do to kind of balance that energy out is you could do a bit of past life aggression I do do past life readings if you want one where we go and clear the karmic energy we can fit in two in half an hour we can deal with two past life readings but it's also something that you guys can do yourself okay and um, so if you go onto YouTube and type in past life regression or past life meditation 
you can just listen to it and clear the energy on it. Um, it's important to note here, so you can tell it's a spirit, it's important to note um, that it can be a little bit traumatic, okay? So just keep your wits about you with it. Um, if you're not in a good place right here, right now, it's not a good idea to go and do it because even though it's stuff that you have no recollection of, it is still stuff that has happened to your soul-based energy. And if you go and, um, and do this past life regression, it can open up old wounds. So if you are not in a great place, we would say wait till your vibration is feeling in a better place. And that will help start clearing some of this kind of karmic energy going on. Now, there's also this fear-based energy happening with you and your person. Remember, you're mirroring, okay? So your person will be having these karmic energies. Um, there is this fear-based energy happening. Some of you guys are having a, a few bad dreams and um, there's also this collective energy between you and your person that your dreams are very spiritual at this moment in time and um, you can tell a spiritual dream from a normal dream because the colors are extremely vivid kind of a bit like the cards you will see that vivid energy you will feel that uh, strong emotional kind of pull not really sure what's going on but you will definitely remember it in the morning and if you're having those more vivid dreams that is because it is a spiritual connection between the two of you so you're going to have the dream side of things is happening what you can do with regard to this is um some of you could try lucid dreaming. I don't know if you've ever tried that before. Again, just be very, very cautious. Um, make sure that you're putting a good level of protection around yourself first. You know, you can put a filter over you or um, put yourself in a bright white light, diamond light or a bubble. Um, and you can do try to do some lucid dreaming where you can go and connect with your person and you can go to speak to them. Um, again, if you need to have a look at that, you can just Google it. It'll tell you everything. Google is a wonderful place, you know. You can go and Google anything. I don't know if you knew that, but you can. Um, so you can go and have a look at that. Now, with these fear-based energies, um, what will happen is there's only two core beliefs, two core energies, two core frequencies that humans have. And one is love. And a lot of people think the opposite of love is hate, but the opposite of love is fear. Okay, so you have this love based energy and you have this fear based energy. Now, um, a really good book for you for this, if you are kind of focusing on your fear based energy, there's a book that Sarah Prout did um, and it's called, hold on, let me find it. I've got it. I have got it. I have got it. It's this one. It's called Dear Universe. Okay, so if you guys haven't got it, this book will be phenomenal for you because at the start of the book, you have about these fear based energies. So there's like a little tick list over here okay so you go to your fear-based energy so if we picked i don't know let's think of something that you've used here betrayed so you turn to page number nine sorry to tell you about this in your reading but you turn to number nine number nine number nine uh, which has got the energy of betrayal and there is a little manifestation at the bottom and then from this man negative manifestation you have uh, the opposite Okay, so fear and love, you have forgiving, gracious and honest. So you go to the second part of the book, which is all the positive emotions. So you go from betrayal to forgiving. You read through the manifestation again. Um, you read through the advice and the tips and it clears the frequency on it. So if you are acting on a more fear-based energy, this would be a really good book for you. You can also say to the universe, um, before you do anything with regard to changing those fears from negative to, from, from fear-based to love-based, um, you can say to the universe, can you echo this onto my person so that they can feel the benefits of it as well. So those are the two first things that are kind of coming up. We've got this fear-based energy that you guys are picking up on. And we've also uh, got this karmic energy. And then we've got this dream-based energy as well. So this is definitely a more spiritual connection between the two of you. It's a very, very strong focus-based one. So let's talk a little bit more on an earthly level. So there's been a choice that has been made on this decision. And you guys are feeling pretty out of control of it all at the moment you're feeling like you didn't have your say or that it hasn't quite gone how you wanted it to now the best thing that you guys can do here um is if you just take a step back from the situation okay um don't take people's judgments on board don't take people's opinions on board and um, you know when people start throwing these judgments on you and saying oh well he wouldn't treat you like this if he didn't love you he would treat, or they, sorry lads, uh, they wouldn't treat you like this if they loved you, etc, etc. Remember that this is just a point of view that a person has over the situation. It has no effect on your reality. It's just someone having a point of view saying, okay, this is my viewpoint. This is what you need to know. Um, 
them. But if you just take it into the mind step of not bring it into your energy, you take a step back, let them have their point of view. They're only saying it because they want to look after you and protect you, um, but they're not in spiritual relationships, so they're never going to understand it. Also be careful who you're opening up to with regard to this connection, um, because again, people don't understand. Earthly people will just go, oh, he's an a-hole, she's an a-hole, leave him be, let him go you know, yada, yada, yada. Um, so just be aware of that. It's people's point of views. They're trying to do what's right for you, but they are burdening you with that kind of energy. To move the situation forward, what we would suggest is obviously manifesting. So if you need your manifesting plans doing, just give me a shout as well. Um, manifesting is your one tool. Well, there's loads of tools really, but the manifesting um, is working with the universe to get what you want. That's basically what it means. Um, it's like thinking about your hopes and your dreams and your aspirations and where you want to be. And it doesn't just have to be love-based. And then manifesting it, bringing it into fruition using universal laws and principles, okay? It can be quite complex. So if you want those manifesting plans doing, let me know. But you guys can be all super wizards at it. Wizards at it. I'm a cool, I'm a core manifesto, I've done it for years, um, so there's a lot of advice and guidance that we can give you if you need it, um, but you are all more than capable of doing it by yourself, so if you want a manifesting plan, let me know. Um, the other thing that Spirit is saying is that you guys are holding on very, very tightly to the situation at the moment, and this is kind of a blocking things moving forward. Because you're feeling low and you're feeling crappy and you're feeling shit, what's happening is that you are holding on really, really tightly to the situation. And when you do that, you're not giving space for the universe to maneuver around you. Um, you have the fear-based energies kind of coming through like, oh, I'll never hear from again. I'm completely lost. I don't know what to do. And what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be manifesting them. If you're focusing on lack, you will create more lack. We always attract what we are thinking about. It kind of manifesting comes from our subconscious mind and out. So if your subconscious, your conscious mind is saying, oh, they don't love me, they don't care, they don't think about me, you are sending that out into the universe and therefore creating lack. Focusing on lack will create more lack, okay? Um, I did a manifesting video over a year ago, so again, you can go and have a look at that. There's loads of tools and tricks in that to help you move your situation forward. Um, with regard to your person, let's just have a look what's gonna happen. Let's do that as well. That's the advice we were giving you. What's gonna happen with them and their person? Just, let's have three cards. What's gonna happen with them and their person? Yeah, very fear-based energies. Still fear-based energies. Um, your person, again, your person is having these fear-based energies as well as you. You are both manifesting the situation into a more negative light. Your person is also kind of changed to the darker side of the lovers at this moment in time. So, puppy. No. Uh, my dog. The, your person's kind of changed a little bit to the dark side of the lovers from all the pain that they've gone through. My dog does not listen. All the pain they've gone through. Puppy. Um, or the heartache they've gone through, or the suffering they've gone through, um, you guys have gone through it too, but this isn't just where they are at this moment, this is stuff from what's happened in the past, um, what's happened in their childhood, what's happened in their teenagers, in their 20s, in their 30s, whatever age you're at, they've got a lot of issues with regard to love, they've got a lot of fear-based energy, and again, the more work, and I know it kind of is a bit shit because it all lands on you, but you are the ones watching the video, you are the ones that need the help, because when you do your work, it will mirror onto them. Uh, don't push energy on them, you know, a lot of people will say, send them love, send them healing, send them this, send them that, you will can do that when you feel the time is right, but if you're person is already in fear and have these overwhelming emotions of being scared and frightened by pushing love on them you're going to push them back into a corner okay so the best way to do it is do it through yourself use the tools you have be your gifted self and have it echo onto them so they feel the benefits of it going through you on a, on a soul connection going through you to them is going to be the best way for things to move forward okay um so your person has got a lot of fear-based energy you have the chariot over here for your overall outcome so this is things kind of the longer term objectives being met longer term things happening try not to put a time limit on it okay um because if you put a time limit on it Again, you're clogging your own energy moving forward. You're stopping things moving forward. Your person will come back, your, or whatever your next chapter is with regard to your situation, uh, they will come back towards you. 
they will make these offerings towards you. Um, you have this cyclical energy again. So if you do the, the advice that Spirit has suggested in this reading, you will move the situation forward and that is when it will come back. I'm hearing a seven, so be about seven weeks, seven months, a seventh of a month as it stands right here, right now, or seven days, okay? variant on you guys but seven is the key number here um your longer term objectives are going to be met but they have got to release these fear-based energies okay and that will come through the advice that we've given you you can move it forward so your outcome is is positive your emperor remember never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel but this will be your per your person the devil the fear-based energy is being chained to to love you guys can't break this easily you know a lot of people say try cord cutting you can't cord, cut cords with divine connections like twin flames. It, it just, it's not impossible, but it's not easy. Um, so a thing that we would suggest with this as well, if you're feeling like you have got this really big chain, um, remember that you and your person are connected heart to heart, but you're also connected through your other chakras, okay? So you have your root chakra, which is two inches, that is the bottom of your spine. Then you have your solar plexus, which is two inches below, no you don't, you have your sacral, which is two inches below your belly button, your solar plexus, which is two inches above, your heart, your throat, your third eye, your crown. Um, those are the seven, more, seven key ones, there are more than that. But what you can do, if you are feeling that this chain is really strong and you're feeling like it's like, I can't break, it's killing me, this this cycle is driving me mad, I'm stuck, I feel like I'm connected, I can't get them out of my head. What you can do is you can just visualise you and your person, sit opposite each other in your visualisation and just see where these chakra points are connected, okay? Because what can happen um, is that we're not always connected from the same point. So you could be in a heart-centred energy, your heart could be connected to their uh, sacral chakra. So what that means is while you're feeling really emotional about the situation, your person's feeling horny. Or your third eye chakra could be connected to their root chakra. So whilst you're finding it really, really spiritual, really like strong connection following your intuition, your person is thinking of it on a more security-based level. So, you know, you have this mismatch, mix match of energy. So you'll be like, oh, it's a really spiritual connection. It's all great. It's all amazing. And they'll be like, but this is weird. I don't understand it. I can't get my head around it. I like my stable home. I like my security. And they don't understand it. So if you can just visualize you and your person sitting opposite each other and just visualize the cords, go with the colors of it all. The colors of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Colors of the rainbow going up and just visualize them sitting next to you. And if you're connected at different points, just shift it, just move it. Just move it so you're heart to heart, third eye to third eye, crown to crown. Your objectives here are being met. You will get the outcomes that you, you want from the situation. Try not to put a timing on it, like we said. Um, and use the advice that we've given you. Let the magic happen. Let it all unfold. If you need me for past life or manifesting, just give me a shout. Uh, past life, again, you can do yourself. Manifesting, I already did a video about a year ago, which will help you. It's linked in all the public descriptions. You can just find it there. Okay, that's step number one. Hope that didn't blow your mind that much. Okay, beauties, what am I on? 17.55, let's do deck number two. So what we're gonna do, like I did with deck number one, welcome those that tapped in, tuned in, turned on. This is gonna work on the strongest neutral energy between you all, um, regardless of situations, but I'm gonna try and get an energy on the situation for you so that we can pull out the advice that you need. Um, mainly channeling from spirit today, mainly doing mediumship. Um, because normally while they're whittering in my ear, they want to talk to you today. They really want to talk to you. So that's what the plan is. So, 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 keep saying so. Let's go. So we're going into your energy and let's go into your people's energy. And then let's go into all the situations energy. So the collective energy of the situation, please. And we'll do all thoughts, feelings, energies, emotions, thought processes, and we'll also do possibilities, probabilities, challenges, choices, changes, adversities, advisories, and outcomes. Ooh, okay. So we're only going to do five cards like we did with deck number one, just time for spirit to really channel the energy. So can you tell me the advice for deck number two, please? What is the advice for deck number two? Okay. 
Okay, the over well, I'll have to take some. The overall feeling that we've kind of got over here is that this is something that you are really pissed off with and really fed up with and you really don't know what's going on. Okay, so you have this kind of element of I'm fed up. This is driving me insane. I feel like I've been flogging a dead horse. I feel like I've been going around in circles. I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, nothing's happening. Nothing's moving. I'm trying to push the situation forward and I'm getting nowhere. So what's happening here on an energetic level is that you are trying to control the situation. Okay. Now what happens when we try to control a situation, I kind of said this a little bit in deck one, uh, but not to the same, same level that I'm going to say it to you. What happens when you try to control a situation is you do not give room for the universe to maneuver, okay? So you're saying this has got to happen at this specific time and if that doesn't happen, I'm never going to believe in anything ever again. I've had enough, I'm fed up, I'm sick of this. I don't even know if I'm making the whole thing up. What's actually going on? What, 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 I, what am I not getting? And you're getting frustrated and you're getting aggravated and you're starting to lose your uh, wick at spirit, you're starting to lose your wick at the universe, you're getting really pissed off with the whole situation. So the first thing that we would suggest over here is that we do some kind of energy clearing on you. Um, it would be really important to kind of clear these energies out. I don't know um, when... I'm going to have to draw you a diagram now. We're going to have to do... We're going back to school. I'm a terrible drawer, uh, so just bear that in mind while I show you this. So what happens is, this is... You. let's put a nice smiley face on you okay this is you and this circle around you is your aura now what happens when shitty things happen is that space gets created okay so when a, a situation will happen you create these kind of holes in your energy holes in your aura so uh, I don't know a breakup uh, pain from family childhood trauma you create Sorry, it went over his face. You create these blocks. And what happens once space is created, there's the universal law that once space is created, it has to be matched with something equal to or more than. So when these spaces are created, you get negativity shooting in on all directions and clogging up your aura. Okay, and from that, you're going to feel like you are stuck, you're going to feel very stagnant, you're going to be pissed off, you're going to be fed up, and you're going to feel like everything is kind of getting on top of you. So it's important to keep your energy clear, okay? Daily energy clearing. You can find something on YouTube about it. If you can't be asked to find something on YouTube about it, what we would advise is you just visualise gold rain. Like, just sit there, shut your eyes and visualise gold rain coming all over your energy, which should feel very soothing, very therapeutic. The other thing that will happen is when these traumatic situations go on, we're going back to your aura, um, your aura should be, should be, two to four feet all around you, okay, as a circle. That's where your aura should be. But what happens when these things happen is our aura just likes to kind of grow or it likes to minimalize. Now you can find that if you are suddenly getting really pissed off or really angry or really annoyed or sad and it's kind of come out of nowhere, your aura could be in your neighbor's garden or in your neighbor's house, okay? So, or it could be really, really close into your energy, too close into your energy, and there's not the space that you need. So it's clogging the energy again. So again, if you just visualize yourself, uh, see where your aura should be. And if you find in that you feel, you don't have to, if you're crap at visualizing, just feel it. Um, feel where your aura should be. And if you feel that it's a little bit detached or you see that it's a bit detached, just bring it in. Just bring it in. So it's two feet, and, and if it's really close to your energy, just push it out. Two to four feet around you, okay? So clearing your energy regularly. If you can, you know, if that's a bit too complex for you, just go onto YouTube, type in clearing energy. Um, check your aura, gold rain, clear it out. Um, and also look at the positioning of it so that these blocks, these negative blocks are kind of cleared from your energy. Um, and that's part of the reason why you're getting fed up on an energetic level. On an earthly pet level, your person is just not really doing anything about the situation and it is frustrating you. They are also feeling frustrated about the situation. So not to kind of change their viewpoint. If you're trying to throw telepathy on them, um, be a little bit careful about how you're doing it because um, you can't affect free will unless you're not a great person. You can't affect free will because the universe won't allow it. But what we would say is just be a little bit careful if you're trying to use telepathy to talk to your person. Um, 
do it from a heart-based energy, but also be careful about how you're handling the situation because don't guess what they are thinking, don't guess what they are feeling, you know, if you use cards and things like that, you will get a, you will get a good answer on that. Again, if you need their thoughts and feelings, you can do, we can do it in a reading. But don't throw um, telepathy on them about how you want them to feel about you. Okay, you just do it through your energy to theirs, their thoughts, your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, and communicate like that. All right. If you're trying to say love me, be with me, you're my world. Well, you're my world. You could get away with, but the rest of it, just try to be a little bit cautious of that. Again, you won't affect free will, but what you would do is you would end up backing them into a corner with it, and they won't know how to get out of that corner, and that could be stagnating your energy. The other thing we've got over here, and I said this in deck one, we have the lovely death card. Oh, aren't you so happy right now? Um, but this doesn't mean that it's over. This doesn't mean that it's completely done for good. But where you are at this moment in time is um, you're feeling stuck you're feeling this stagnant energy and you've got these fear-based energies that is completely over and done with now with the death card this would say to to us to me and my guides you know they're talking not me they would say that this means that the situation where you are at will come to a close okay so where you are at this moment in time this negative this nothing's happening this temperance my worst card this situation that you are in, it's going to kind of come to, to this, stale, this this close so that you can move forward into the next chapter. Now, if you're still clinging on to it and trying to control it, again, you will block that from happening. So we would suggest that you do some kind of surrendering meditations to the universe. Okay, surrendering doesn't mean that you're letting it go, it's job done, I've moved on. Letting go and moving on are two separate things. If you feel like moving on, that is completely your choice. But we're talking to you about surrendering. So when you say, okay, I'm going to let go, I'm going to release the situation, the universe knows what I want. I'm going to try focus on myself and I know that it'll come back to me in divine timing. If you do that, you will, you will stop stagnating the energy as well, okay? Like I said, I said this in deck number one, so if you just watch one and two, um, with that, um, don't be at fear that it's not going to happen. Don't have that kind of level of distrust within yourself because if you do that, you're just sending it out to the universe, okay? You're just saying, oh yeah, um, I'm okay, you know, I, I, it's done, I'm, I'm over it, blah, blah, blah. You, be gentle with yourselves. You don't have to be so hard on yourselves, you know? Um, a lot of you as well are taking this, coming from that point, are taking it as a reflection on yourself. Now, I know this sounds cliche, um, and I kind of don't like saying it, but it's really, really important that the main part of these kind of journeys is self-love. Because the more love you give to the self, yourself, the more respect you gain for the self, yourself, the more you know what you will take and what you won't take. So when you're in your person kind of get into these slanging matches or not talking or whatever your situations are, you are in that power-based energy to deal with this situation and be in control. But whilst you're not in that situation, you're trying to gain control on it, you're going to hit a brick wall. Okay, so surrendering it and saying, all right, universe, I completely trust you. You know what I want. Bring it to me. If you're unsure of what you want and you want to keep your options open, we would suggest you say to the universe, dear universe, if it isn't bleh, fill in their name, can you please send me someone better for me that I will love equally or more than? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So be it, so it is. Say that three times a day. If you're wanting to open up space, okay, because you kind of would clearing out your aura energy if you do the cleansing um, and you want to create space for you and your person we would say that you say to the universe uh, dear universe what energy space and consciousness can i be to expand infinite possibilities and opportunities with myself and bleh fill in the gap okay and it'll get you out of this stagnant fed up energy and it'll close this this gap of nothing's really happening it'll it'll stop all of that the other side of things from this um is that you also need a bit of a rest and again go with the flow of it all right um you are having a you are having a not a great time let's be fair and um, you are feeling heartbroken but you still got this hope hanging on to hope and you don't need to let go of that hope you can still hang on to that hope you can still cling on to that um but just let it go release the situation in the best way you can surrender it someone that's really great um is eric ho He's brilliant. Go on YouTube, type in Eric Ho, he'll help you. If you need manifesting plans, again, come to me and we can sort them out for you. We can put all the tools and tricks for your individual situation so that you can move it forward. They've got a really good success rate. Um, going with the flow of it, not holding on to it, trying to um, get yourself out of this stagnant energy. 
will be will be the key to moving forward self-love you know all you need to do is self-love if you're feeling like oh i can't do it i've had such a nightmare i think it's all on me i think that i've made these mistakes and um, all you need to do for self-love is just take half hour out every single day for you. Paint your nails, have a bath, take your dog for a walk. Um, sorry lads, I don't know if paint your nails, but um, don't sit there and ask your tarot cards the same question over and over and over and over because you'll get a different answer every time and you will confuse yourself. Keep it limited, you know, if you're reading for yourself, pull three cards, one question, three cards, not over and over and over and over because you'll get different answers and you'll get yourself confused and it is starting to kind of grind on your guides a little bit sorry but they're like but you know we give you get the answers you need and then you freak out about it and because you're freaking out about it spirit can't communicate with you your loved ones can't communicate with you and so you're getting stuck you know and um, so if you are doing your own psychic stuff maybe five cards three to five cards don't repeat the same question over and over, you know? And also, if you are doing that, Spirit would say that you focus on it from your point of view rather than your person's point of view. So rather than knowing what are they thinking, what are they feeling, what do you need to know? What do you need to know about the situation? What do you need to know to move it forward? What can you do to help this? How can you ease your pain? You know, focus that energy back to you, rejig that energy focus back to you, and that's gonna start this self-love process happening. It will move things forward for you, okay? Um, and then it's gonna be down to you on what you want. You know, you might decide, no, you know what, I've had enough, this person's treating me like shit, can't be asked. That's gonna be your personal choice, but the advice is that, you know, um, let release, surrender. You don't have to move on to let something go. You don't have to do that. You just have to release it. Let me just have a look at your outcomes for you. You can have three cards for the outcome of them and their people. Where's the outcome going with these three? So we have a kind of sexual energy coming first. Um, if your person, if you're feeling a little bit used for sex, um, Remember that when with with the other the other people with your beloved, what kind of happens with the sexual energy is a lot of the time they can't express their emotions towards you. So if you're feeling that they're coming through and being smutty, or if you're just getting loads of bombarded sexual messages and you don't actually like it that much, um, you know, tell them to stop if you don't like it. But also um, remember that when they can't talk about their emotions, the other thing they can do to get near to you is talk about sex. Because it's something that you two share in common. You have an intense chemistry. So sex is always going to be that talking point between the two of you. So don't take it to heart. You know, don't let it, if you're on this low frequency and feeling really crappy, don't let it get into your energy. You know, um, just go, okay, I'm in allowance of that. I know that you're doing it because you want to get close to me, but you can't do it for your emotions because you're crap at talking about it. That will continue. Your person's not going to have a personality transplant. They will always struggle to talk about emotions. They have this wall up, again, because of stuff that has happened in their past. Um, it's going to take a bit of work. Okay, so you guys do have to put in the groundwork here, which is why we needed to do this session. But you have your rainbow, you have your action, and you have your movement over here. So once this is your sexual energy this is putting in the groundwork and this is your outcome things moving forward your rainbow your rainbow is the bridge to the other side you know rainbows are a big sign from spirit that you are um they call it the rainbow bridge you know they call it the rainbow bridge between our world and the next they call it the rainbow bridge um and you are being guided listen to your own intuition listen to your own guidance it will shift back in your favor if you allow it but you've got to put the work in and actually it's kind of counterproductive but the less you do the less you think about it the less you try to control it the more you are going to get <laughs> you know i know that sounds counterproductive but if you release it and try to try to think now i surrender it the less you think about it the less you try to control it the more you will get and the quicker you will get it um a timing on this for happening i'm hearing a six so six weeks six months six days uh the sixth of a month uh depending on what you are individually wanting to do that is your collective timing if you want to look at individual timings give me a shout um your person can camouflage themselves that's something else we need to just quickly talk about so they can sometimes just fade into the background okay they can just fade into the background that doesn't mean they aren't watching you on social media that doesn't mean they've completely forgotten about you but they can camouflage it because they get frightened and they get scared um 
so just when this happens, you know, again, be an allowance of it. Think of them as a bit of a little salamander. You know, they come out that with beautiful colours, they change their colours. You can never gauge their mood because they're always changing the colours. Um, but then they can just camouflage and just go away. It doesn't mean they're completely gone. It means they are lingering in the background. Okay, and with this chessboard chair at the back as well, we say it's kind of this little game of chess that the two of you are playing. But the more you take yourself off the chessboard, the more work you do on yourself, the more this will move in your favour and the quicker. Anything else? Spirit just said, take the time and you'll be mine. Do the work now and then it'll move in the right direction. Anything else? You've just got a song, you've just got a hymn, Make Me a Channel of Your Peace. Um, I'm not sure, <laughs> I'm not sure this is really random. This is, welcome to the joys of, of being a medium. Um, Spirit just showed me a burnt pizza, so I don't know who burnt their pizza last night, but um, I'm sure it wasn't that tasty, but I definitely just saw a burnt pizza. So we will leave that with you. Okay, um, at the moment, they've just shown me, uh, they're working the clairvoyant images at the moment, they've just shown me, you know that game when you would put like a, I don't know, a dice under three cups and you turn the cups upside down and you'd move them around. And um, at the moment, you're feeling like that. You're feeling like you want to get to that cup and take the lid off and that dice is going to be at the bottom. And it's a bit of luck of the draw at the moment and how you are positioning these cups and which way you're moving them. Remember, cups are your emotions. And you're feeling like your cups are all facing down and you're trying to find the, the dice. You're trying to find the place to go and it feels like it keeps on moving around you. Again, go with the flow of it. All right, go with the flow of the situation. You will get to the dice in the end. Yes, it's frustrating. We completely understand. Yes, it's annoying, frustrating, it hurts, but you will get there in the end. But with the advice and tools that we've given you today, hopefully it'll move things forward quicker and better for you. So if you need past life readings, if you need manifesting plans, if you need normal readings, um, just drop me an email. Normal readings are 15 minute, half hour, single questions. Single questions are over email, turnaround is 12, 24 to 48 hours. Um, readings, I've got a longer wait list. Um, as you can imagine, the wait list is quite long. Uh, it's on 20, 20 days at the moment, 20 to 24 days. Um, so just give me a shout if you need me. We are sending you lots of love from me and my guys to you. Be good, be safe, um, and take care of yourself. Okay, guys, lots of love. Bye.